probably the most dramatic demographic disaster in human history. 90% of them were wiped out. Yeah. That's a crazy number if you really stop and think about it. Buried beneath the soil of Colombia's high mountains lies evidence of a people so mysterious, so completely erased from history that they don't fit anywhere on the known genetic map of the Americas. A civilization that lived, breathed, loved, and then vanished without leaving a single descendant behind. For 6,000 years, their story remained hidden. Until now. This is the tale of the Chequa people, a forgotten chapter in human history that's rewriting everything we thought we knew about the Americas. It began with bones, ancient bones weathered by millennia discovered in the Bogota Altiplano, a windswept plateau 2,600 meters above sea level in the Colombian Andes. Dr. Maria Rodriguez never expected that her routine archaeological dig would uncover one of the most shocking discoveries in American prehistory. When the international research team extracted DNA from 21 ancient individuals spanning 6,000 years, they expected to find familiar genetic signatures, the usual suspects of South American ancestry. Instead, they found something that shouldn't exist. The DNA results were so unexpected that the scientists ran the tests again and again. The conclusion remained the same. These people were genetic ghosts, a lineage that appeared from nowhere and disappeared just as mysteriously. To understand who the Chequa people were, we must journey back 20,000 years to a world locked in ice. Massive glaciers stretched across North America, and sea levels were so low that a grassy bridge called Beringia connected Siberia to Alaska. Picture this. Small bands of courageous humans wrapped in animal furs following herds of mammoth and bison across this frozen highway. They carried with them the hopes of their ancestors and the genetic seeds of an entire continent's future. These weren't just wanderers, they were pioneers, venturing into the unknown with nothing but stone tools and unbreakable human spirit. Around 16,000 years ago, they made the crossing that would change the Americas forever. Their descendants pushed south through a narrow bottleneck, the Isthmus of Panama, the only gateway to South America. But here's where our story takes an unexpected turn. Not all of these early Americans followed the same path. 6,000 years ago, high in the Colombian Andes, the Chequa people carved out an existence in one of Earth's most challenging environments. Imagine waking every morning to thin air that burned your lungs, nights so cold your breath froze, and a landscape that seemed to stretch endlessly toward heaven itself. This wasn't just survival. This was mastery. The Chequa adapted to life at 2,600 meters above sea level, where every breath was a victory and every day was a testament to human resilience. Without pottery, without agriculture, without metal tools, they thrived. They hunted deer across the open grasslands, fished the crystal clear mountain streams, and gathered wild tubers that sustained them through the harsh highland winters. But they were more than just survivors, they were a community. The DNA tells us they were close-knit, cousins and siblings living together, sharing the burden of existence in this vertical world. They buried their dead with care, suggesting beliefs about life beyond death that we can only imagine. When scientists analyzed the Chequa DNA using cutting-edge techniques, they discovered something that defied explanation. These people weren't related to the Clovis culture that dominated North America. They had no connection to the early inhabitants spreading through the rest of South America. They were genetic orphans, a lineage so unique that they formed what scientists call an outgroup to virtually all other indigenous Americans. It was as if they had appeared from thin air and existed in complete isolation for thousands of years. Dr. Jenkins, the lead geneticist on the project, later revealed that the team initially thought their equipment was malfunctioning. We'd never seen anything like it, she said. 
These people challenged everything we thought we knew about human migration in the Americas. And then, around 2,000 years ago, something extraordinary happened. The Chequa people simply vanished. Not gradually, not through mixing with other groups. They disappeared completely, replaced by an entirely different population whose DNA resembled people from Central America. It was as if someone had erased the Chequa from existence and rewritten the story of the Altiplano. Imagine the final generation of Chequa people, children who would never grow up to have children of their own, elders whose stories would never be passed down, a culture that would leave no trace except for the bones we've discovered 2,000 years later. What could cause an entire people to vanish so completely? Climate change that made their way of life impossible. Disease that swept through their small population. Competition with newcomers who possess superior technology like pottery and agriculture. The truth is, we may never know, but their disappearance marks one of the most complete population replacements in human history. The discovery of the Chequa people wasn't just a scientific breakthrough, it was an emotional journey that affected everyone involved. Dr. Rodriguez recalls the moment she first saw the DNA results. I actually started crying. Here were people who had lived and loved and raised families, and they had been completely forgotten by history. We were the first humans in 2,000 years to know they had existed. The research took five years and involved scientists from seven countries. They worked in conditions that mirrored those faced by the ancient Chequa, thin air, bitter cold, and the constant challenge of the high Andes. Dr. Kim, the project's archaeological director, spent 18 months living in a tent camp near the Chequa site. Every morning I would wake up and think about these people who had slept in the same place 6,000 years before me. It became personal. The Chequa discovery has shattered the old model of American prehistory. For decades, scientists believed in a simple story. One migration, followed by gradual diversification as people spread across the continents. Now we know the truth was far more complex. The Americas were populated by multiple waves of migration, periods of isolation, and dramatic population replacements that we're only beginning to understand. The Chequa people represent something profound about the human experience, our incredible ability to adapt, to find home in the most unlikely places, and our equal vulnerability to forces beyond our control. When the study was published in Science Advances, the reaction was immediate and intense. Social media exploded with discussions about the ghost people of the Andes. Indigenous rights groups called for greater protection of archaeological sites, while conspiracy theorists spun wild tales about ancient aliens and lost civilizations. Dr. Sarah Thompson, a prominent anthropologist not involved in the study, called it the most important discovery in American archaeology in decades. Meanwhile, Colombian President Martinez announced new funding for archaeological research, saying, we must honor these forgotten ancestors by uncovering their full story. The documentary footage of the discovery has been viewed over 50 million times worldwide. Our Chequa people became a trending hashtag with people sharing their own family migration stories and discussing what it means to be forgotten by history. Perhaps most moving were the responses from indigenous communities across the Americas. Maria Echel, a Mayan elder from Guatemala, wrote, These ancient relatives remind us that we are all connected by stories we haven't heard yet. Their silence speaks louder than words. The Chequa discovery has opened more questions than it answered. Scientists are now racing to find evidence of this mysterious lineage in other parts of South America. Could their descendants have fled to the Amazon rainforest, where their genetic signature might be hidden among remote tribes? Did they leave traces in Central America that we simply haven't found yet? 
New techniques like single-cell DNA sequencing and isotopic analysis are revealing details about ancient lives that would have been impossible to discover just a few years ago. We can now determine what people ate, how far they traveled, even what diseases they suffered from. Dr. Rodriguez's team is planning expeditions to five new sites across the Colombian Andes. Every shovel of dirt could contain another piece of the puzzle, she says. The Chekua people may be gone, but their story isn't over. As the sun sets over the Bogota Altiplano today, it's impossible not to think about the Chekua people who once watched this same sunset 6,000 years ago. They lived. They loved. They faced the challenges of their high-altitude world with courage and ingenuity. And though they left no descendants, no written records, no monuments to their existence, they've given us something precious, a reminder that human history is far richer and more complex than we ever imagined. The Chekua people may have vanished from the genetic record, but they found their way back into human memory. In that sense, they haven't truly disappeared at all. Their story reminds us that we are all part of an ancient human journey, one that continues to surprise us, challenge us, and inspire us to keep searching for the truth about who we are and where we came from. The search for the Chekua people continues, and perhaps in the most important way they've already been found.